On the coast of Sicily, a giant is slowly dying. Mount Etna, Europe's most active volcano, is not only erupting, it's sliding into the sea. Every year, satellites detect its entire southeastern flank inching eastward, carrying villages, forests, and lava-scarred ridges toward the Ionian depths below. Scientists say it's not magma pushing it anymore, but gravity itself pulling the mountain apart. What happens when a volcano the size of Etna finally gives way? The answer could be one of the most terrifying natural disasters in human history. Researchers warn that if the unstable slope collapses, it could hurl a massive debris into the Mediterranean, triggering a tsunami powerful enough to devastate Sicily's coast within minutes and send waves rippling across to Greece, Malta, and North Africa. For centuries, Etna's eruptions have been a spectacle of fire and wonder, lighting up the night sky above Catania. But beneath that beauty lies a ticking geological clock. The mountain that built this island's landscape may one day erase it in a single roaring instant. Today, let's uncover the science, the warning signs, and the terrifying reality of Mount Etna's collapse toward the sea. Don't forget to click on that subscribe button and like this video as it's the best way to support this channel. Mount Etna, a towering stratovolcano on Sicily's east coast, is Europe's tallest and most active volcano, rising about 3,357 meters, a height that constantly shifts as eruptions build it up and collapses wear it down. Etna was born from the clash of continents. It stands where the African plate dives beneath the Eurasian plate, a collision that began millions of years ago and continues to shape Sicily today. As the descending plate melted deep within the earth, magma rose through fractures in the crust, building layer upon layer of lava and ash until Etna emerged as one of the world's most powerful volcanoes. But the same forces that created it are now tearing it apart. Unlike volcanoes rooted in solid rock, Etna's foundations are fractured and weak, resting partly on ancient marine sediments that shift under stress. Its steep eastern flank lies atop the Alfeo Etna Fault System, a network of offshore fractures that acts like a conveyor belt, slowly dragging the mountain toward the Ionian Sea. Etna's growth has also been uneven, its eastern slopes swollen by centuries of lava flows and magma intrusions that inflate and deflate like lungs. Over time, the combined forces of gravity, tectonic movement, and internal magma pressure have pushed Etna into a slow but unstoppable drift. The volcano keeps growing upward through eruptions that add new layers of lava, even as its eastern flank is steadily pulled seaward. In essence, Etna is a volcano caught in two opposing forces, it is still being built even as it is slowly tearing itself apart. Mount Etna's eruptive history is among the longest and most dramatic on Earth. Ancient Greek poets and philosophers wrote of its fiery temper, and since 1500 BCE, more than 200 eruptions have been recorded, securing Etna's reputation as one of the world's most active volcanoes. Yet beneath this history of fire lies a quieter, more ominous story. Geological evidence shows that Etna has suffered several massive flank failures. The most striking remnant is the Valle del Bove, a vast horseshoe-shaped depression on the eastern flank. Five kilometers wide and one kilometer deep, carved by a catastrophic landslide tens of thousands of years ago. Offshore, scientists have discovered huge fields of volcanic debris on the seafloor, remnants of submarine collapses around 8,000 years ago when parts of the volcano plunged into the Ionian Sea. The deadly 1669 eruption buried villages and reached Catania, while later events in 1928, 1971, 2001 to 2002, and 2021 repeated the same worrying pattern. Fissures opening along the southeastern flank and the slope inching seaward. Each eruption subtly deforms the mountain bringing it closer to breaking point. Scientists now believe that Etna's entire structure is behaving like a vast, slow-moving landslide driven by magma pressure, gravity, and tectonic strain. For decades, geologists believed that Etna's flank motion was driven mainly by magma pressure from within. 
That view changed after a groundbreaking study conducted between 2016 and 2018 by researchers from Geomar Helmholtz Center for Ocean Research and ING VITS. The team deployed a network of underwater acoustic transponders along Etna's submerged southern flank to measure seafloor motion. In May 2017, the instruments recorded a 4 centimeter shift over 8 days, a slow slip event that occurred without any eruption or earthquake. The study revealed that Etna's entire southeastern flank, including sections beneath the sea, is sliding as one enormous block. This motion is driven by gravity rather than magma and often speeds up after major eruptions or earthquakes, showing how fragile and easily disturbed the system is. Satellite data and ground-based GPS stations have confirmed that the sliding continues today. Between 2021 and 2024, following several powerful eruptions, scientists recorded renewed deformation across the volcano's summit and flanks. Swarms of small earthquakes have also rattled the area. Perhaps the most worrying sign is that offshore tectonic shifts and surface movements on land are now occurring in sync. In 2024, radar studies indicated minor accelerations along the submerged alfeo etna fault system, the same region believed to have hosted past submarine landslides. Researchers warn that although a collapse isn't imminent, Etna's flank is sliding faster and across a larger area than ever observed before. Recent activity has intensified concern, particularly the renewed explosive eruptions in June 2025, which sent lava fountains and ash columns high above the summits, followed by persistent seismic swarms through July and August, coinciding with increased ground deformation on Etna's southeastern flank. These signs suggest magma is intruding into already weakened zones, adding stress to the volcano's unstable slope and accelerating its slow descent toward the sea. If Mount Etna's unstable flank were to suddenly give way, the outcome would be catastrophic. In the worst-case scenario, billions of tons of volcanic rock could collapse into the Ionian Sea within minutes. The impact would displace a massive volume of water, unleashing a tsunami up to 20 to 30 meters high that could strike Sicily's eastern coast in under five minutes. The city of Catania, with more than 300,000 residents, would be directly in its path. Smaller but still devastating waves would spread across the Mediterranean, reaching Calabria in about 15 minutes, Malta within 30 minutes, and the coasts of Greece and North Africa within two hours. Entire coastal communities, ports, and tourist centers could be swept away before evacuation is possible, with potential fatalities reaching hundreds of thousands or more. Scientists believe such a collapse would likely unfold in multiple phases, with the upper slopes failing first, followed by deeper sections near the coastline, each stage intensifying the tsunami's power. Geological records show this has happened before. About 8,000 years ago, a massive flank collapse at Etna triggered a Mediterranean tsunami. Today, with over a million people living nearby, even a partial failure could devastate modern Sicily, leaving almost no time to react. Given the immense risk, Mount Etna is among the most studied volcanoes on Earth. The INGV Catania Observatory operates an extensive network of instruments measuring ground deformation, gas emissions, and seismic activity. High-precision GPS stations track movement across the mountain, while European Space Agency satellites use radar to detect even millimeter-scale shifts in the terrain. Since the 2018 discovery that Etna's flank is sliding beneath the sea, researchers have expanded monitoring offshore. Ocean bottom sensors and tilt meters along the Elfio etna fault system now record movements linking surface deformation to deep structural motion. Despite this progress, predicting a flank collapse remains extremely difficult. Unlike eruptions, which often give clear warnings, a gravitational failure could occur suddenly, triggered by an earthquake or eruption, with little or no notice. Scientists are exploring early warning thresholds based on acceleration and tremor patterns, but the margin for detection is narrow. Civil protection authorities have plans for eruptions, yet a large-scale collapse and tsunami would demand a completely new response system. 
European initiatives like the European Plate Observing System are refining hazard models, but all findings point to the same conclusion. Etna's collapse is not a matter of if, but when. Mount Etna has always been in motion. Each eruption reshapes its slopes, each earthquake shifts its base, and gravity pulls it steadily toward the sea. The movement is slow, just centimeters each year, but it is irreversible. Once such a process begins, nature offers no way back. Scientists warn that a major eruption or earthquake could accelerate the collapse, and recent volcanic unrest suggests that Etna's internal pressure is once again building. Though a catastrophic failure may still be centuries away, the uncertainty itself is dangerous. The mountain structure might gradually adjust, or it could give way within a single lifetime. Etna is both a creator and a destroyer. Its eruptions have nourished Sicily's fertile soil, yet the same forces that shape the island could one day erase it. Inch by inch, the volcano slides toward its fate, a reminder that even the mightiest mountains can fall.